Bro, fluffing? Mm-hmm. You know, like, even? Yeah, bro is fluffing. I'm serious, yo. We gotta be a chillest. Ain't no like, bluffing. Yo, we're drinking on mine. Hi, you all. Welcome back. I am Maya. I'm Raz. And I'm YZ. And today we're watching Haikyuu. Season one, episode nine. We're so excited to be watching this episode today. Yeah. So we want to thank you all for tuning in and watching. Yeah, um, just to give a little quick little recap, we had got introduced into the two senpais of Kagiyama and Hinata that's supposed to be on the, the team. So we got Nishinoya. Yeah, right. Nishinoya. Ace. Is, yeah, we just gonna call, call him Ace. Asahi. Asahi. It just so, sounds like something. Um, yeah, like an Asahi bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got those two. They, we got a little backstory. Not like a complete backstory, but we got to get to know them a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You know, the endearing guardian deity. He seemed like such a confident, endearing dude that's yeah. gonna put the confidence and his light into the others of the team around him. So, yeah. man, that was beautiful to see. And it seems like uh, that Ace, unfortunately, He's not in the space or the position to hop back on the team. Yeah. It seems like he went through a bit of trauma. So. Yeah, like a block of, yeah. I guess, like all game. Mm. And the exciting thing is, too, is they're about to do like a training camp. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. They and are. Yeah. they're going to be matched up with another high school, like another team mm. to yeah. play against. So. Oh, and let's not forget about the coach. The, the rough around the edges oh, coach. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we don't even know if he's going to be the coach yet, but. Yeah. You know how right. anime be. Yeah. He he more than likely gonna be the coach. Yeah. We feel it. So you know, it seems like the team is coming together slowly but surely. Even just seeing Nishinoya popping up, it just gave you a big picture of how the team could be. Yeah. It seemed like it could be a very warm yet eccentric team, very wild card light team. So yeah, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm excited to see where everything gonna go. We got a bunch of interesting characters and willing that uh, Ace come around and on the team man. yeah which i'm pretty sure he would but <laughs> we got to see how he heal up and get his mind right and get together yeah exactly. overcome his mental block yeah <laughs> no pun intended right he word really. mental yeah look at yeah that. <laughs> well yeah man we just gonna hop right into it though i bet it does feel great what? Dang, man. <laughs> it's just so sad. Like, the way he it was out for so long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it just kind of sums up his whole character. Yeah. 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 I get his approach right now. He probably knows it's not gonna crush him for real. You feel me? Yeah, tough love. Exactly. <laughs> if you wanna be here, then be here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, exactly. S- standing outside the gym and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, man, come on, come play. Like, get yeah. in. Come on, man. You stand Stop. there by the door with your hand out. Like, come on. <laughs> like, it is like, bro, how long are you gonna make yourself suffer? You know? Right, it's like nobody's stopping you but you. Come on. See? They showed us. What happened? Coach. Oh, they showed us. <laughs> bro, why do openers sometimes just give so I, much spoilers? But I mean, it ain't a big major spoiler. I mean, you're right, because we, we do. Oh, wait. Did we see something else? No, I, I, I don't know what else we see. Oh, no, I missed it. I think YZ. I'm gonna like look away. I think I missed it. That's how we'll skip. What else we see? I, I, I don't know. I ain't trying to see. See, like, do a full photo. Well, I've kind of seen another character that could come in. I see Asahi like, oh, on the team. So <laughs> I'm not surprised now if he joins. Thank you, opening for that. <laughs> We need to get out that corner store and go to the school. I want to play a team that is good. I want to play a team that is good. I want to play a team that is good. I want to play a team that is good. I want to 
that kind of made me think. I might be one of them type of people where I might be trying to live yeah, into the past a little bit too much. Like Most people do. Yeah, like, people I want to keep living in that feeling. You feel me? Oh, he basically got pissed because you he like, bro, you shattered my whole little mind frame that I was holding up for a while. That man doing this part, I like that, man. <laughs> what? I'ma do my part. Wow. <laughs> Not words. Not for real, bro. That's Great not me to be. But it's also because of bro. You get what I'm saying? That stuff that happened with bro. He like, dang. He probably was like that because of me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, what? That's a fire track suit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. yeah. And it go with his head too, the yeah, color scheme. Yeah. Weird thing to say, but I like track suits. Nah, them, they be heat. Yeah, man. So we all gonna get track suits? Shoot. Man, bro, but they reflect them. Man, he hadn't been going through it for a while though. Like, that shit must have really had him depressed. Mm. Wait, who he said was coming? Who's that? Wait. Oh, this is the um, local uh, team he said he coached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nanda, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. He's like, I fine, I can play with love to you. Oh, snap! Oh, uh, uh, he got caught. Oh, he got caught. He got caught. He got caught. He got hustled in the plane. He didn't even really say he was going to. What? Now nah, that's what he need though. He to tell you what he yes. needs. Like that. Like, like, come somebody on, to drag come him in. <laughs> like, damn, what you doing? Yeah, yeah. Get in Go. Yeah, cause if he had time to think about it too much, he probably would like turn around. What? Coward out and stuff. Yeah. This man got cat eyes. Kagiyama got hit. Come on, man. 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 トスを上げることにビビってた。ああ。うん。俺のトスで。またスパイカーが何度もブロックに捕まるのが怖くて。ああ、それ。ああ、かな。ガンドゥサンタン。いや。そう、ライク。イントゥコネクティング。ガンド
ここが好きだ<笑>おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおだけど、最後の最後、トスを呼ぶのが怖くなった。うーん、おまかーライトいや、カウポー、トーシーパウプレイ、エブリティングオンのラインオンユー、ユーラー。あがれ。お前がいくら拾ったって、スパイクが決まんなきゃ意味ないんだ、ハサギどうせ決めらんねえよ。撃ってみなきゃわかんねえだろうが、次は決まるかもしれないじゃねえか。ああ、that's how it broke。俺はリベロだ。守備の要で、チームの要だ。俺に点は稼げない。Dang. Damn, why my eyes watering a little bit? What the fuck? Damn. Wait, 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 なんかいぶつかったとしても。それならいいです。おお。それが聞ければ十分です。俺の仕事はただひたすらつなぐこと。うん。ひなたないさ。それはスパイカーたちの領域で。スカイズドメイクスカイズ。朝井。止めぞ。命令しないでください。つなげば、つないでさえいれば。あ、シェ、ひがば。ブロックフォローだな。ブロックされたボールを拾いまくるとくん。Oh, that's, that's <laughs> 俺がつないでみせるから。だからもう一回、トスを呼んでくれ The relationship between us. t h e r e s i e a n s h i p t w e n e s t h i r e a t e a m s e n You're trying to get me. s h i m a t a s a s for the time. Let's go. Let's see what's happening. This is a matter. So we are there.
Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. That's the ace. That was a freaking smash. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. That was great. Damn, they got me, boy. You had tears. I had one tear. Man. You had one tear. That was a lot, man. Bro, that. Yeah, they got me, bro. They made your boy cry for a second. We really got to start looking at certain things and um, things like this, artistic stuff, whether it be drawings or anime, they come with certain messages to really help us through. And, you know, sometimes we talk about having struggles, you know, and even if it's not something literal to this, like, OK, you're not playing volleyball, but maybe you have some type of ceiling that you're trying to get through or some type of fear you're trying to overcome. We could all learn from something like this, man. You know, for real. We can for real. Yeah. And just seeing how everybody came together and they, um, they all just wanted to heal from that situation in general, but he was the main key. You get what I'm saying? Like everybody was already there, but with him being there and then bringing the confidence between all three of them again, mm -hmm. just by him calling out for the shot. And yeah, that was, it was one point in time I couldn't even speak because my emotions was like tied up. And yeah, and I was yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Snap. They did their thing with the music too. The strings and the chorus that they had back there that was swelling while he was Girl. thinking about everything. I was like, I couldn't say anything either to be honest with you. That was intense. Like the build up of it all. Man, they are a team, bro. Yeah. Like they really are a team because that's a connection right there too. Like all of them was finna cry, bro. Like you seen the captain, you seen Tonica, you seen Ishinoya, yeah. and then just seeing how bro really been practicing to have bro back yeah, even like, Kageyama on the other team like nah man I want to see this dude do this yeah you know? for real bro yeah that that was something else they a team yeah I'm impressed yeah, yeah for sure I'm impressed yeah you gotta stay determined and really work through some of your insecurities or your fears you can't let those things hold you back at all otherwise you know you just stay stuck where you are so exactly especially when you enjoy doing it like you can see there's a genuine joy you know he's looking outside the um the doorway like dang they all in there playing <laughs> looking at his hand all longing me <laughs> like bro I remember when I used to do that. No, nah, for real, especially bro. if it brings you some type of joy, man. Take that risk. And I'm glad he faced that, bro. He needed that, bro. They whole team needed that. Well, the previous team that they was yeah. needed that. Definitely like, needed that. Cause man, they the seniors. They gonna be the ones holding the shit down and holding it together for real. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful to see though too how the first years like really helped like the healing process as well, like with their oh, relationship. Yeah. Because I felt like when they seen them, like they just got reminded about just like the pure love of like volleyball and you know working together and their curiosity you get what i'm saying their curiosity of wanting to be like damn you the ace you want to see like yeah. it's like when he said how kagi was like no let him yeah. go until you hit it you know try to boost him back to where he need to be and with Kagiyama being a setter too he probably knows you have to pass it to him at some point yeah yeah and that you gotta build that man up too I feel the ace though like bro that shit brought back so many memories but I wasn't asking for the ball too and it's like because of like trauma that happened on the court like yeah. I don't know what it is but I know I said this like an episode or two back but out of all the sports I play like I don't know something about volleyball that has this form of intensity you just really feel how you can affect the team you yeah. know and then seeing your team do all that just for the ball to come to you and then for it to not be a point it like hits you kind of heavy yeah i want to be passionate about something in life this hard bro i mean and i know i'm young and i got like time to figure it out and you know see what interests me but a lot of things don't hit you hard like you can nah, try a lot of stuff out in this life and really never feel that intensely about anything you know and i'm kind of thinking about that right now after the seeing this like mm, what do i feel that passionately about you know one thing i will say is uh passion is something that just makes you feel alive you know man passion make you feel all different types of emotions it make you feel all of them yeah you get what I'm saying? It's a combination of all, every single one. Yeah. Exactly. So it's just like for them to really be showing how passionate they are, even the voice actors, shout out to the voice actors, shout out to the mangaka that wrote this, shout out to the animation studio because they all had the passion to portray these emotions and the actual passion that's hitting us like, whoa, I'm feeling passionate just because they passionate. Exactly. Like, that's extreme. And we got so man. much more to go. What? We got so much more to go. What? So much more. And I'm 
I'm excited, like beyond excited, cause shit. If what what episode this is, this shit. Nine. Nine. This shit brought me a tear, like In a nine, toss to the ace. The ninth episode. You know, last episode I thought it was the best one yet, but this one, you know, I would say this trumped that one. Yeah. More so because of the emotional side and the passion that it brought. Where the pure emotions of it. You know, at first, you know, you thinking it's just like build up episode. You gonna see the coach and boom, boom, boom. But nah, mm -hmm. they they hit you with like, nah, we finna do some healing here. We <laughs> a whole lot of vibes. Well, yep, that was episode nine, y'all. We appreciate y'all for watching. Please comment what yeah. it is you think about like overcoming certain obstacles in life. I want to hear all that. Type of stuff. I want to read all of it because that's a part of this life is overcoming things that you maybe feel you can't do, you know, or maybe you're being told you can't do. Um, subscribe to the channel if you guys really rock with us, you know what I'm saying? If you rock with us even more, follow the Patreon. Yeah, check out the Patreon. <laughs> check it out. Y'all get to see the uncut, raw, unfiltered things that you know, we experiencing and watching mm -hmm. on the uh on the Patreon that we can't show on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And one last thing I want to say, keep on moving forward and do what you're passionate about. Yeah, we're and if you don't have something that you're passionate about yet, man, go find it. You feel me? It's it gotta be something out there for you. you know? Exactly. That's how I'm feeling right now. Something. I'm gonna find it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to really Dang. find something. But don't stress yourself out about it. Yeah. Like of if course. you haven't ran into what you're passionate about now, just no be pressure. in the moment. No and pressure. just continue to move forward. Yeah. It'll come. It comes at different stages. Passionately followers. live life. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Passionately through. live life. It don't have to be, you know, like one specific thing or like a certain hobby. You know, like he said. Yeah. Passionate about life. Yeah, man. So. That's beautiful. That's all I got to say for now. I had a couple more words, but I think that's they're good. not coming down to me, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, episode nine. Very episode inspiring. Episode nine, man. Inspiring. Nice. For sure. Episode nine. We'll see y'all later. See ya.